Oh, it's invaluable. I mean, Bobby's a great coach, you know, done this for a long, long time and, and brings so much knowledge into it and then being specific with the option. Uh, it's been great. It's been great. Has it been like a year-round preparation instead of like just the game week preparation? Is that kind of just how it has to be with that system? Yeah, I think so. You know, but like, like, I, like I tell, you know, our guys, it's... Uh, there's nobody out there that has the answer, all right? If you look at that offense, primarily they're one and two every year in rushing, yeah. and they are going to average somewhere around 350 yards a game. So, you know, schematically, you know, coming up with something new schematically at this point in time, I don't know if that's as much the answer. Mm -hmm. I think good solid preparation, uh, a good philosophical approach to it uh, is required. Um, and certainly a specific, you've got to be specific in terms of the execution of your defense and, um, you know, what has to take place. But it's, a, it's different. You know, it's different for the player. All of a sudden they're lining up and playing something that to them is, is so different. You know? So it's, it's very difficult. Is that something you've addressed a bunch so far this fall? Or is kind of going I would say a bunch. Uh -huh. I wouldn't say a bunch, but you know, we wanted them to see it uh, some, so you know, we've put it out there. And so, you know, game week at Georgia Tech, it's not the first time that they've seen it, but I wouldn't say a bunch now. Brian, we were talking about the players being able, second time through, being able to ask you questions. Joe Smith thinks that maybe you think he asks too many questions. Yeah, they talk. They talk a lot, you know. <laughs> They're so darn smart. They want to. They all want to talk. And but no, I'm saying that kind of kiddingly. But no, Joe's Joe's uh, as bright a football player as I've ever coached. So you know, his thoughts and his his uh, details of it require a lot of conversation because he he doesn't want any gray area. You know, he wants it very detailed and very exact. And he wants it that way because he feels like he's you know when he's on the field he's not just learning middle linebacker he's learning all the positions right. and he wants to make sure uh, that they can trust him and that he's on top of exactly what everybody's doing I, I asked him if the more he learns about your defense the more questions he has just because of his inquisitive nature and yeah. I mean I heard him ask you a couple questions today yeah and I, you responded as if they were good questions yeah Oh, he has good questions. He has good questions. You know, the young player sometimes, not like a coach that's yeah, been in yeah. it a long time. But Joe's asking Some, like a coach. Sometimes their their question will be, you know, kind of around the exact uh, organization of the question, or we could skip a lot of things if it was just asked this way, you know. And the players don't 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 quite understand that sometimes, and it ends up being longer. And we like to have quick talk. In football, so right. if the questions are direct and not overthought about going from this to this to this to this, and it's really direct, then we can have really good, you know, conversation. Especially on the field, right? And Joe's and Joe's learning that he's yeah. not a football coach; he's just a very bright player. Right. 